Welcome to another edition of Test Drive Diecast. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing for you the 1 to 18 scale Chevrolet Avio. This particular car is the second version of the Chevrolet Avio. Um, it was originally produced by Daewoo. Uh, the car is made in several countries in the world. Uh, it's made in Dearborn, in Michigan, as in marketed as the Chevrolet Sonic, and it's made in Korea by GM Korea, I think they used to make uh, Daewoo cars. Uh, it's also made by GM Shanghai um, in China, which is where this particular model comes from. And it's also recently started to be produced in Russia as well. So it's a bit of a world car. Underneath uh, the real car is pretty much the same as a Vauxhall Corsa D. Um, my mum actually has a Corsa D and we had the bonnets open. And otherwise, um, Apart from a few sort of uh, ancillary items, the engines are pretty much identical. Um, that's pretty much where the similarity ends. Uh, the, I, I actually have a real a Chevrolet Avio myself, had it from you for two years, and that's pretty much where the similarity ends. Um, quality wise, Chevrolet um, is, is not on par with the Corsa at all. Um, it's, it's not a particularly good car, um, but it's satisfactory. We bought it because we, we needed it, a car uh, quite desperately. So I decided that I would get a model of one. Didn't particularly want a 118 scale model of one. Didn't particularly want to have to pay as much as I paid for this one. But it's the only one available and it came in black, which is the same as mine. Um, so what we'll do, um, this, I'll look around the model um, externally and then we'll have a look at the interior and engine. The colour of this one, as I say, is the same as mine, it's carbon flash black. Uh, it's The specification of the models varies from country to country. Uh, in the UK, you've got a 1.2, a 1.4, and a 1.3 diesel. Now, this particular one's an automatic, so I think it's actually a 1.6 automatic, which they got, um, you got in other countries. It's also uh, roughly based on the LTZ model which is the top of the range, you can tell that's got bigger wheels, chrome round the lights and have a better interior than the one that I have which is the LT model. So I'll have a quick look uh, around the model first. Having the real car myself, um, I can get a very good idea of how accurate this model is. It's made by a company called CSM, imported directly from China, not available anywhere in the UK. Um, it's meant for the Chinese GM Shanghai dealerships. And you'll see that from the Chinese script on the front, which, as I said in previous videos, I like that sort of thing in my models. It makes them very authentic. Um, so one of the aspects of the Avio was that it was supposed to be designed to look a bit like a motorcycle. And you'll see inside on the dashboard later exactly um, how they've, they've done that. Uh, the headlights were supposed to ape a motorcycle as well. Can't quite see it myself, but there we go. Uh, the detail of this model is excellent, it's very heavy, um, like the Rover 75 that I reviewed earlier. Similar level of detail, the only difference being this doesn't have an opening filler flap. Well executed wheels, like the Rover, it has folding mirrors. Very yeah, nice detail on the badge there. And yeah, that's accurate to the real car. Mine doesn't have fog lights, this one does. Beautiful detail on the lights, you can even see the bulbs in there. That metallic black paint's coming out reasonably well, a bit dusty, but coming out okay. Windscreen wipers, the funny angled one at the passenger side. Yeah, this particular one has a sunroof, which uh, opens, as you can see there. Uh, the blind underneath also moves as well. Around to the back of the model. And another feature of the LTZ model is the chrome around the tail lights. Again, you'll see here this being the Chinese domestic market version, badges in Chinese. It does say Avio on the other side. Excellent detail on the badge, which one of the things I particularly like about this model is it's a separate piece of plastic, it's not just a tampo painted on or anything like that. Separate piece of plastic. 
very nice indeed. Paint finish is excellent, fit and finish, excellent. I'd say it was better than Auto Art or Mini Champs. Um, these Chinese manufacturers uh, certainly make very high quality model cars. Don't know much, much about the real cars, but certainly the model cars uh, are excellent. Okay, we'll have a take, uh, quick look now, uh, take a look at the engine and interior. Okay, so this is the engine, um, it's probably a 1.6 litre Ecotec engine. The one in my own car is a 1.2, though visually they're identical. Um, this is a very detailed engine, it's not just sort of plastic cappings stuck on a flat engine bay a couple of centimetres down, it's actually, this is actually an engine block uh, made up of pieces of plastic and inserted into the engine bay. Uh, it's good to see something that's not really prevalent in a lot of modern models. Um, the header tank, uh, return pipes, reservoir, battery, filters, radiator pipe, very very good detail, although there will be stickers here as well. One of the best detailed engine bays um, of, of car model cars that I, I have I think. But it's very pleasing to see, especially since I own the real car and I can compare them. It's a nice thing to see. Move round to the interior now. Just going to start a bit wider. Inside it's very different to the interior I have. The interior I have is two-tone grey and the seats well to do have a similar sort of a kind of sine wave type pattern. Uh, mine's in grey and lighter grey and also I think you can see the stitching here as well. Um, I think these seats are supposed to be leather. Carpeting there as well, a little bit, a little bit sort of thick. Um, nevertheless, very nice. Um, this is an automatic one, um, it's all the correct sort of cubby holes and dials and stereo system and everything, all there. Door panels, very accurate indeed. My door panels and mine are just two-tone grey. Back doors, they're just plain, same as in my car. Turn the back as well. Again, a feature I like to see in models is fabric seat belts. And this one doesn't let you down in that department. See there, this is the most easily visible one. I'll show you that one. One of the things my own car doesn't have is a spare tyre, and I realised that I would be able to buy one because when I looked underneath this particular sort of false floor, you see there's actually a spare tyre there. So I went and looked under the floor of my car and there is a, a spare wheel recess there so it means I can buy one in the future if I want to rather than the useless kind of tyre weld that's in there at the moment. I mentioned earlier it was supposed to, so the design was based somewhat on a motorcycle. So I'll just show you the dashboard to see what they mean. Satisfying clunk there from the door, that's good. So as you can see here, there's a kind of pod, and if you look very closely, I'll try and focus in on that through the steering wheel. You can just make out some numbers, I'll try and zoom in on that actually. That only shows up when you shine a light on it. That's fantastic, that's exactly the way the digital readout on the dashboard looks. It's blank when it's off. As soon as you switch it on, it comes up exactly like that. And it's also, that's a red counter there as well. Very, very good level of detail here. You see the stitching there as well. Automatic, this one. Mine's a manual. That there is a cigarette lighter. That button's your traction control. Again, you can see there as well, nice fabric seat belts that actually, mm, that's 100% accurate, even the webbing. Absolutely love that. This particular model, as I say, is a dealer edition, came directly from China. Um, the feedback rating um, of the vendor, various vendors of these models 
varied greatly um, and so did the price so I would always suggest if you are looking to buy one of these which I doubt you would be unless you own the real car like me um, they can vary from 60 to 120 pounds so just go for the middle ground get the most reasonable price the most reasonable level of feedback from the seller um, the, the actual even if you don't like the real car I have one myself I'm not a particular fan of it um, I really really like this model um, it's a, 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 an everyday car modelled um, with excellence uh, so it's it's good to see something so accurately done in miniature when you spend every day in the real thing it's, I just like seeing things done perfectly in miniature um, as always everyone's favourite dealer box nothing to say about who makes the model on it at all it just says Avio nice wee piece of artwork there quite like that some kind of design on it Chinese script again makes the model authentic for me which I absolutely love Chevrolet there bit more information underneath the model I'll just show you that just now just carefully tip it up just show you that engine bay detail there first of all so focus in on this you see it says made under license of SGM that's Shanghai General Motors and it's CSM that make it and then we look up Avio and Don't 18 and Chinese script rear axle and everything excellently modelled so if you're looking to buy one of these I say the prices do vary greatly go for the middle ground um, that's an excellent model to have I've never heard of CSN before uh, so it's again it's a nice one to add to the collection from an unusual model maker um, so if you've got any other questions, um, please leave a comment and don't forget to, to like and subscribe.